Kiko's portrait looks like the evil queen from Sleeping Beauty, which I guess is pretty appropriate. And if you give Superfly the Ion Blaster, he looks just like Cyborg from Teen Titans. So you can convince yourself you're playing a significantly better game, I guess. Most players start out with no weapons except for the Disruptor Glove, that freaking useless melee weapon from the story mode, and you have to scavenge weapons. What's strange is that it's not only possible, it's highly likely that you'll find ammo for a weapon long before you find the weapon itself. Neither Ben nor myself found any armor in either of the multiplayer maps, so God knows why the heads-up display has a spot for your armor. And let's discuss the weapons. This is probably the most disappointing aspect of the multiplayer mode. The entire premise of Daikatana is that you travel between four different time periods with four different sets of weapons and enemies. The game has 25 weapons in total, and only six are available in the multiplayer mode, counting the Disruptor Glove. The only weapons that you can find are the weapons from the first time period in the story. So basically you get a basic gun, a rocket launcher, the six-shooter, a grenade launcher, and the shockwave gun. That's an okay variety, considering this game isn't a very good shooter and its weapons are all crap, but it still seems odd that the three quarters of the game's weapons aren't hallways with no cover. If another player catches up to you, there's no getting away. One of you is going to die. There are skill power-ups that max out your character's speed stat for a limited time, but as I've said, if there is a difference in how the game plays when you're leveled up, you sure as hell don't notice it. Come on! Move your ass! The heavy runs faster than this! I think the spy crab runs faster than this! Now, you may notice that there's no map on the screen. You can't track down the other players, and you're stuck wandering your slow ass through the level until you find somebody to shoot. But it turns out you can pull up a map on your screen by pressing the L button. Yeah, L, the one button on the controller that doesn't do anything in the main game. How the hell are you supposed to guess or even figure out that there's a map in the game to begin with? If you don't figure out that there's a map, you and your opponent are going to spend half the game trying to figure out where the hell the other person is. And because both of the levels have multiple floors, the map doesn't do a lot to help you anyway. As far as the deathmatch goes, there's not a whole lot to say other than the weapons are lousy. Thank god this stupid multiplayer game is over. You have totally defeated your opponents in the ultimate deathmatch. <laughs> you are the greatest warrior, and everyone must pay homage to your magnificence. Your enemies now grovel at your feet in utter despair and humiliation. And check it out. The game says that I've won a deathmatch, even though I was playing the dual quest mode. Brilliant! There, I'm done talking about Daikatana. The story is dumb, the main campaign is terrible levels, the multiplayer mode is absolute shit and was thrown in at zero effort all because shooter games have to have it. What else should I talk about so I never have to talk about this game again? The title screen does a weird thing if you sit on the main menu for too long. Searching index. Invalid code. Please try again. Should I talk about supporting my theory that this is, in fact, the tie-in game to the Avengers movie, given a complete overhaul? Exhibit A, all of the game's cutscenes are panels pulled from the comics, meaning they were either extremely lazy, which wouldn't surprise me, or they had to be thrown together at the last second. Exhibit B, Loki is a playable character, even though, according to my research, Loki had nothing to do with the secret invasion story. He had a brief appearance at the very end, and when he did, he was in his female form. Yeah, Loki is bisexual and can change his gender in the comics. Any bets on whether that makes it into the third Thor movie? Exhibit C, Loki fights almost exclusively using a giant staff, probably originally his spear from the movie given a quick makeover. Exhibit D, all of the characters from the movie have their designs from the movie as unlockable costumes in a game where the only character with more than two alternate suits is Captain America. The character models for these characters look drastically different from the game's normal art design. They're not just palette swaps, and that's not the kind of effort Ubisoft would put into the game unless they had these costumes already been made. Sipped with 13 Ninja Turtles characters and three rabbits from Ubisoft's own Rayman games. So what, no Sam Fisher or Altair in your Avengers fighting game? You're not going to put in rabbits dressed like Iron Man and Black Widow to shamelessly pad out the roster? Is it possible that fanboy bitching actually got something accomplished and clued you in that you shouldn't shit on your customers like that? Or did you float the idea past Marvel and they told you to screw off? Sorry, I'm, I'm still a little bit bitter. The characters have different stats, but you'll notice very little difference in how each character controls. The primary differences between characters are their special attacks, and since special attacks are divided into categories, there's not a whole lot of variation to be found there either. Every damn character in the game plays exactly the same way. Their special attacks just do slightly different things. There are several special attacks in the game. Vertical attacks, shield attacks, jumping attacks, charging attacks. The game tries to incorporate a sort of rock-paper-scissors system where some special attacks can be used to counter others, but the problem is that special attacks need time to reach.
four stars and doesn't feel like it's even actively trying to win until you get to five stars. The highest difficulty in the game's broken combat system is really spotlighted by the AI on five stars because the AI will constantly trap you in combos to stun lock you and if, God help you, the AI is using Spider Mag Magneto or Phoenix or one of those other broken characters, the AI will spam the attacks that make them invulnerable. So depending on the difficulty, the AI is either too dumb to live or completely cheap and broken. The game has a ranking system where the more XP you earn in fights, the higher your superhero rank goes, but the XP system is just whacked out. You get XP at the end of a fight for basic attacks, special attacks, and defense, meaning how many attacks you dodge or counter. The game awards XP based solely on how many of each attack you use. This means that you get more XP in a fight where you lose a round than you get in a fight where you sweep your opponent, because if you lose one of the three rounds, the battle goes on longer and you have time to launch more attacks, which is the only thing that goes into calculating XP. The game also doesn't give you more XP for higher difficulty fights, which is backwards from every other fighting game that's ever been made. And the killer part is that gaining XP does absolutely nothing for you as far as gameplay goes. So on top of sucking on Tosh, the game isn't very substantial at all. Speaking of the character challenges, they're glitched bad because I started doing the ones with Iron Man and the game wouldn't acknowledge that I was dodging the enemy's attacks when the goal of the challenge is to dodge the enemy's attacks! Either that or the instructions avoid the Jericho missiles mean something other than avoid the Jericho missiles. Avengers Battle for Earth is lousy. It's just another damn zero effort licensed game. It's short, it's poorly designed, there's not much content, the AI is lousy, the story is almost non-existent. I'll admit that the simple combat is an interesting attempt at making something different in regards to fighting games, but it's monotonous and unstimulating at best, and broken and frustrating at worst. In other words, it sucks.